Welcome to Philippine Canadian and Cars Daily News Roundup brought to you by Canadian and Car.net. Your only Filipino Canadian daily news portal. I'm Rowan Echo and here are stories making headlines today. Liachon tells Duterte enough with the show be on top of the Dengvaksha issue. President Rodrigo Duterte should stop putting the show and be on the top of the Dengvaksha mess, an independent doctor from the PhilHealth Health Insurance Corporation said. Dr. Antonio Liachon said in an interview on ABS-CBN's Umagang Kaiganda that Duterte should hold accountable those behind the Dengue vaccination program issue as he said 90,000 vaccinated individuals are at risk. Quote, my appeal to President Duterte is that he should be on the top of this and accountability. Enough of the show, they said there is a blue ribbon hearing on Monday, but the public wants accountability, unquote, Liachon said. He said he has watched all shows in the Senate about hazing, BOC, Shabu, ZTE, and that the presidential spokesperson is trying to whitewash by stopping them from presenting the possible dangers of Dengvaksha. Liachon also said Dr. Antonio Dance presented to him the trial of Sanofi Pasture through the New England Journal of Medicine that there is a safety signal explaining that those vaccinated but do not have dengue prior to immunization are in danger in the third year. The doctor added that they tried to present the study in a House committee hearing but were stopped by five congressmen, including then Akbayan representative and now presidential spokesperson Harry Roque. Sylvia says more Filipino families experience hunger. More Filipino families said they experienced involuntary hunger at least once in the last three months, the latest social weather station survey showed. The third quarter 2017 SWS survey found that 11.8% or an estimated 2.7 million families experienced involuntary hunger in the past three months, posting a 2.3 percentage rise from 9.5% quarterly hunger in June 2017. Approximately 11.8% or 2.2 million families said they experienced moderate hunger. The percentage rose by 1.8 points from 9.6% in September, whereas 2.1% or 493,000 families said they experienced severe hunger up by 0.5 points, 2.1% in September. Moderate hunger refers to those who experienced hunger only once or a few times in the last three months while severe hunger refers to those who experience it often or always in the last three months. Quote, the few who did not state their frequency of hunger were classified under moderate hunger, unquote, the SWS said. Quote, both moderate hunger and severe hunger increased between June 2017 and September 2017. Prior to this, both had been steadily declining since December 2016, unquote, it added. DOJ seeks to re-arrest the Brez, Shamsons, and Silva. The Department of Justice on Thursday has asked the Manila Regional Trial Court for the cancellation of bail of Communist Party of the Philippines leaders Benito Chamzon, his wife Wilma Chamzon, and Edilberto Silva in view of President Rodrigo Duterte's decision to terminate peace talks with rebels. In a motion signed by State Prosecutors Olivia La Rosa Torrevillas and Aristotle Reyes, DOJ sought for the return of the red leaders in jail stating that there is no more legal ground for the continuous provisional liberty of the rebel leaders. Quote, in view of the cancellation of the peace talks, there is no more legal ground for the continuous provisional liberty of the accused. Thus, the immediate recommitment and cancellation of bail of all the accused should logically follow. Unquote read the motion dated November 28 filed before Manila RTC Branch 32. Benito Chamzon is believed to be the chairman of CPP-NPA, while Wilma Chamzon is identified as the secretary general of the group. On August 19, the rebel leaders were earlier granted a temporary liberation to participate in the peace talks between Philippine government and the Reds. That wraps up for news here on PZI Daily News Roundup. Thank you for joining us. For more news stories, visit our website at www.canadianincar.net. 